y'all. Charles with the Disc Golf Travelers here. It is Monday morning, like 9.30. Uh, just finished throwing the last of the laundry in the washer. We are here to recap the Lexington Open Ams weekend. Uh, that was this past weekend, Derby weekend. I always try to run out of Louisville Derby weekend, so I headed down to Lexington. Did some camping in Winchester and played the Lexington Ams. So, I'm going to start by going through the players pack. Uh, one of the things we got was this Osmosis Dry Your Hands with Science. Highly absorbent and quick drying. Keeps your hands moisture free and ready. Oop, almost dropped it. Uh, hey, I'll be honest, when I first got it, I thought it was just a giant hacky sack. Uh, MVP Sports. Uh, this tournament was presented by MVP uh, for me. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's definitely taking the moisture off my hands. I'm a fat guy inside, so I'm kind of sweaty, but, hmm, it's interesting. It's going in the bag. I got. I don't know about you guys, but you get chalk bags and hand dryers at almost every tournament, so I've just got a little side pouch on my bag that is full of those things. Uh, players pack, we got to choose from two discs. Uh, everybody's going nuts over the freaking thing. So I grabbed a glitch uh, 1700. Played around with it a little bit in the campground. Uh, it'll let you know what you're doing wrong. It will absolutely let you know what you're doing wrong. Because if you put it on an Annie or a Heiser, it is going to take that line and it is going that way. Uh, I think it was a third throw. I put it on a little bit too much Annie and I was trying to throw it back towards my camp. That thing just kept going right, and it went towards the hill, and it went down into the valley, and I think I had to walk a good 75, 80 feet down the hill to get this from the neighbor's property uh, near the pond in their backyard. Um, like I said, this was an MVP tournament. I've heard a lot of people talking about this one as well. So in the player's pack, you got to pick a regular MVP stamp, and then you got to get a lab second uh, stamp. There's that one there. I went with the Volt. Uh, I don't really know a lot about MVP other than they make lighter discs usually. And I don't know, I'm getting old and my arm hurts, so I've started throwing a lot lighter discs. This, though, this was the piece de resistance in the player's pack. Incredibly light. I already weighed it. It's like three and a half pounds. Uh, that's the entire thing. It goes into its own little bag that you can carabiner clip onto your bag. And then you have a Lexington Open waterproof jacket with the BDGA logo there on the chest. You got Lex Open down the left arm. On the back, you got the MVP logo. Uh, this thing is awesome for an insane number of reasons. Uh, it's got the inner, like, Guys, you're going to recognize this as like old school netting from inside your swim trunks, but it's got that through the entire thing, removable hood, full zip, it's got the airflow, you got a couple of vent pockets on the chest, a couple of zip up pockets down below. Uh, Sunday for the Lexington Open this past weekend was whew, real close to being a washout. Uh, there were a lot of those things being worn on the course Sunday. But speaking of the courses, uh, now over here, I will put up my round sheets. We'll just cover it real quick. It was a largely uneventful weekend. Uh, Saturday in the morning, we played veterans. I started on hole six with a bogey, which was awesome. I was happy about that. Ripped off a lot of pars, struggled in the 15, 16, 17 area. And then once we got back on top of the hill, if you've ever played vets, uh, you know, you know, one through six, that's what you got to survive. If you can survive one through six, you're in a great spot. Coming into hole one, I was tied for 18th place at plus five, and then went plus seven through the death stretch and ended up in 46th after the morning. We came back the afternoon round and we played uh, Jacobson. Jacobson. I was fortunate enough to be on a card with my friend Derek Dunn, the Kentucky State Director, and we were talking about it because we started on 13. By the time we got to one, we were, you know, pretty well warmed up. 
And as we were teeing off, we were discussing how one through three might be the three toughest starting holes in disc golf that we have seen definitely within the state of Kentucky. There is not a course in Kentucky that one, two, and three break your back and brain as much as Jacobson and Lexington. If you guys are in the area, it's on the south side of Lexington. You should go see Bang a Chain. They're like 10 minutes from there. Uh, it's a great course. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. One through three will make you cry. <laughs> as you can see, I doubled, singled, singled, um, hole five, woof, hole five. I took a snowman. I haven't done that in years, but it did, and that's a thing that happened. Uh, hole 12, I got the par, probably the longest drive I've gotten in a while. We had some bad left to right crosswind. I'll try to get a picture up here for a moment of hole 12. It's just a huge open field going down a big sledding hill. Uh, then, yeah, I finished round two, plus 13, plus 25 overall. I fell in 51st place out of 57. And then came Sunday, Shilito, Shilito, however you want to say it. Uh, it's a very scorable course. I will say a couple of the holes, they have extended 30 to 50 feet, making an eight, low 800s rated player like me play a lot more for par than birdies. But I did get my chances. I just blew most of them. I uh, birdied hole one. I tried to go big arm hyzer. It worked. It hit a tree and it rolled like 15 feet closer and I made a putt. Winds were terrible. Weather was terrible until after the break. We got rain delayed by two hours. But once we started back up, it was, it was nice. I don't think we saw another drop of rain or cloud the rest of the day. Uh, I did finish the last round at plus three. It was middle of the pack score-wise for that course as opposed to the previous two rounds where I had definitely been in the bottom. I was able to fight back up to 46th out of 57. Uh, one of my better finishes so far this year since moving up to rec because that has been hard. But yeah, man, that was the Lexington Open. It was a lot of fun. It was my second year going there. It is definitely going to be on my list for next year. Uh, hit me up if you got a good, good breakfast place in Lexington, because I thought I found something with Market or Maple Street Biscuit Company, and then hanging out at Bang a Chain with Sam and all them Saturday night. They're like, Nah, dog, that's a chain. And I was like, God darn it! I thought I found something local. I was supporting, and I was all for it. Uh, Shamrock Bar and Grill on the south side of Lexington, fire place to get lunch, burgers, beer. Awesome appetizers. I got to meet Charlie, one of the minority owners. Great name, cool dude. You guys should absolutely check that out. And if you're going to be in the south side of Lexington, Kentucky, you have to hit Bang a Chain. Stop in. I don't care who's working. Chris, Jason, Sam, Jennifer hangs out there a lot, but Cooper's around now. So, I mean, I don't know how often Sam and Jennifer are going to be in there, but go see them. Get a beer. Browse some discs, talk. There's always locals hanging out in there. They'll get, they'll give you good directions to a good course. They'll always be willing to play. And if you are heading in, put an online order in before you get there and use the discount code Ambassador to save you a little bit of money on what you know you want. And then you got the time to walk around and see what you like. But yeah, guys, that's the Lexington Open. Uh, have a good day. I'm gonna clean up here and get ready. We've got a local tournament in two weeks, the Gauntlet, hosted by the Heartland Leagues. Uh, follow, subscribe, like, check out YouTube. We've got some more stuff dropping there. And peace. See you later.